I'm going to talk about Super Proud of Remix and a headless CMS. But you're probably asking, why a headless CMS? Don't you know you could build a full stack app with Remix? Yeah, you can. But before I tell you why, I want to share my story. How I discovered Remix, why Remix is awesome, and why Remix and Strapi, which is a headless CMS, is a match made in heaven. And then I'll tell you what I think the true superpower of Remix is. So I'm Paul, I'm a self-taught developer, and I work as a developer advocate at Strapi. Wait, isn't Strapi a headless CMS company? Yes, hence the talk using Strapi headless CMS. So no, I'm not going to show Strapi for the whole entire talk. I'm going to do it for at least half of it, you know? Very, very, very important. So my story, and by the way, before I get into my story, I think there was a mistake that I'm standing here on the stage, so I want to apologize in advance and thank RemixCon for having me and Salt Lake City's amazing place, and I hope you will invite me back someday. But I wasn't always a developer. And so I learned to code in my mid-30s. I didn't get my first developer job until I was 39. I'm 43 now. Don't let the baby face fool you. And I'm not an expert. I'm still learning. And if people ask me what are your credentials, I give advice on YouTube, whatever that means. Uh, I have a channel called Coding After 30 where I talk about how to change career in development because I think it's an awesome thing to do. And all I really want to do is bring my ideas to life as quickly as possible. And don't worry, we will talk about Remix soon. But first, let me tell you my strappy story and why it's important. When I was learning to code, I was frustrated because I didn't know how to build completed projects. I mean, I knew React and I could build some front ends, but there was a missing piece. Oh yeah, I didn't know how to build a back end for any of my applications. And while learning uh, web development, I discovered Strapi, which allowed me and empowered me as a brand new developer to take my front end projects and build full stack applications. So Strapi, it allowed me to create API in minutes, it allowed me to build the full stack applications I wanted, and it had really low barrier to entry. You could literally get started as a noob, which was a quick win for me. But it also gave room to grow. As I grew as a developer, I was able to explore the features that Strapi had to offer, like all the customizations. And so when I got my second development job, still a junior developer, believe it or not, the company had a problem. They wanted a new product, but not enough bandwidth, lack of resources. Their main product was built by Python developers, and the owner of the company, he could just not come to terms being like, I cannot take these uh, developers from this project and put them on this new one. And so I raised my hand and I said, hey, I know uh, Strapi is a hell of CMS that I think will be perfect fit to allow you to build this. So as a front-end developer, I was able to build a POC um, I was able to get the MVP approved and we actually turned it into a real product. So the technology that I fell in love with while learning to code actually ended up being something that we were able to take uh, to production. And it was really awesome because based on my effort, they were able to go to market quickly and hire new developers. And because Strapi uses uh, Node, it was very easy to hire folks because it was all JavaScript. And why is this relevant? because it allowed for faster development for a smaller team. It reduced the cost of the project, which allowed us to go to market faster. We were able to get users on our product, get feedback, which allowed us to have faster iterative process. But we had a second problem. At that time, I didn't know Remix existed. So we didn't use Remix for the product. So how do I discover Remix? Well, there was a chance encounter, and Guga is really awesome. I check him out on Twitter. Uh, he shared the project that he had a requirement to build in two weeks. He also kept talking about good old, good old days of SSR. I was like, all right, great. He talked about writing less React code and pro uh, progressive enhancement. But I didn't realize that the project that he built, he used it with Remix and Strapi. So they built uh, OS Capital website. And I was blown away what he was able to do really quickly in two weeks with the power of Remix and Strapi. Literally, the only thing that stood out in his code is he had the loader function, and then he just made a call to our Strapi CMS, and that was pretty much majority of the website. Obviously, I'm simplifying a little bit, but I just couldn't believe how simple that was. And I realized Remix was the missing link for me. And that's when the Remix bug bit me, and I was like, I have to learn more. I got to figure out what this Remix thing is all about. And so, 
I live in Austin. I discovered a local Remix meetup group uh, run by Brooks. He's here somewhere. He's amazing uh, dude. And noobs are welcome. So I felt like I always suffer being like in my, like getting my first job at 39, being 43 now. I always suffer from the imposter syndrome. But, you know, I really felt welcome in the community. And what I loved about it, not only you had the opportunity to learn about Remix, but they encourage you to speak, which I thought was pretty awesome. And they even have a community project, which is pretty cool because I think it's one way to get the community involved is to build things together. And, of course, free food. That's the only reason I came. All the other stuff was just bonus. And so it allowed me to learn a new technology in a welcoming, not judgmental environment. And I felt valued as a beginner. And I know if you're a senior developer, sometimes we get away from this aspect that there are new people. They're just coming up the ranks. And if you introduce them to technology early enough, they're going to advocate for it in the future. And so they even let me give my first talk. It had access amount of cats. I don't know. I mean, look at that cat. It's amazing. Uh, so... There you go. And I realized the same thing I love about Strapi, I loved about Remix. It allows you to build full stack application and has low uh, barrier to entry. Like if you understand what the loader function is and you're able to make an API call, you could literally make so many different websites. Not even talking about the action function. Was, oh my gosh, that's amazing. So it gives beginners quick wins. And as they grow as a developer, um, they always keep Remix in top of mind because it has amazing uh, developer experience. And so why did I personally like Remix? After seeing what Google showed me, I realized it's less React code. Nested routing is amazing. Loader and action functions just meant, uh, fit in my mental model when it just made sense to me. And uh, also, I talked to Kent. He introduced full stack component. Pretty amazing concept. If you haven't seen his talk on that, I highly suggest. And it also encouraged me to learn TypeScript because I know I'm very late. Don't ask. It's just it is what it is. And so what I really like, less via code. Like my new application, no excessive use state and use effects. No excessive loading state. For sub form submission is simplified. Less need for state management. Your database is the source of truth. And you get to focus on native browser features, which is important because I think with all these other frameworks, it's very easy to forget that certain things are just native to web, and you should probably use those first. Nested routing, the fact that you have uh, router-based UI, each route is responsible for its own data. And again, less need for state management, no need to like, use contacts or what have you. Like I said, your database is the source of truth. truth. And prefetching and being able to load data in parallel, I mean, that is amazing. And coming to loaders and actions, and those are two of my favorite things because, number one, they run on the server, and Remix will just handle the UI changes for you. You're able to use private keys without fear of having them leak, and you handle all the requests on the servers. And actions, to me, is just magic because when you update things, your UI just works. And I really love that about Remix. And I mean, full stack components, again, I said, if you never tried them, I really like this pattern that I can't share it in uh, the Remix EU conf. It was really awesome. And I like the idea of being able to have your server code and UI code in the same file. And if you don't use the default export, that becomes a resource route. And what's awesome, your UI component in that same file can't consume that resource route. And so you could uh, take and create a certain functionality that does a specific thing, and then you could import it anywhere in your code, and it would work, which was really cool uh, for reusability. So I was able to have one button that uh, handles a certain aspect uh, of uh, liking a uh, uh, comment or a post in one area, but I could reuse that component and depending which props I pass, like it would still work the same way. It was pretty awesome. And so with all these awesome things, uh, why would you use Remix over anything else? And I remember I, I, I had a talk with Kent and I asked him, like, when would you not use Remix? I think he said you would use Remix for everything, which is like, you know what? It's pretty awesome. I agree with that. So let's talk about Remix and Strapi. So at this point, you could tell I'm probably the late, like, lazy developer. Strapi empowered me to build uh, backends fast, even though I wasn't as experienced as I was. And Remix allowed me to stop fighting React, which led to better developer experience because the process of getting data, mutating data, was simplified. And that really stood out for me. 
And so back to the original question. Of course, you could use Remix to build a full stack application. So why use a headless CMS? So when you have a lot of content to manage, that's one key. If you have a lot of people that are going to edit that content and work with that content, it's very important. Or you just might be in a company that you don't have the resources due, team, uh, due to team size or whatever it is, budget concerns, and, but you still need to build something cool. What I really love about this idea of using a headless CMS um, Strapi, you could set up really quickly within five minutes, and you could literally have your content create, uh, editors, managers, what have you, start adding the content, which basically allows to developers work in parallel with the content developers, decreasing time to market. And uh, more importantly, you know, CMSs, they come with their own admin, so you don't have to worry about that piece of the project. People could just go in and start adding in the content. And I really like about it because as a developer, the last thing I want to do is have someone tell me, hey, someone made a typo, can you go fix it, when it was the content editor's job. And because of that, like, the reason why I talk a lot about Strapi is like, I'm a big believer, don't uh, reinvent the wheel. If uh, things that you're doing, no matter how seemingly unique they are, they have been done before. So for certain projects, it makes sense not to create things from scratch. And so Strapi, it's easy to get started. You get the full admin panel. You get role-based access control out of the box, structured your data with collection types. We have dynamic zones and components, what I will talk a little bit more about. It's API-driven, and it gives the ability to integrate with other third-party services. So you're able to save a lot of time. Literally easy to get started. You run this uh, Create Strapi app at latest command, and you're literally going to have fully functional admin where your content editors start working. And what's awesome, it's uh, very customizable. So if you need additional features, you could go ahead and do that. But within two minutes, you're ready and have a functional back end. Because of its uh, headless nature, it allows developers and account managers to work independently. Again, reducing that time going to market, which is very important. And it really just allows developers to focus on building the front end and not messing with the content, right? That's not their job. And so Strapi provides role-based access control, which allows you to give granular control to your admin users. You could have editors, you can have writers, whatever you decide you can create, which creates clear responsibilities and workflow. You also enhance security by providing unauthorized access. And if someone's role changed, it's very easy to go ahead and reassign. And again, this is something that you don't have to build from scratch. It's included. We have this concept of dynamic zones and components. And it's a way for content managers to organize data in relative ways. And it allows you um, greater usability and flexibility. But more importantly, you're able to group content into components. And you could have a same component mapped to your front end component. So whenever someone in Strapi uh, moves something, you will be able to see that change in the front end. And here I have like a very simple example, and I know could, uh, hopefully you could see it very well. We have a dynamic zone that has a couple of different uh, components in there. You see the hero section, you have the button action, feature columns, and so on. And then on the right, I have the same representation of that component on the front end. So my strappy data structure uh, has a hero component, and my remix application has a hero component. And so what I'm able to do is I'm able to query, let's say, a page that could be built with those dynamic components and get all that data using the loader function. Very easy, use loader data hook. You get all the data on the page. And I have a very simple function here, here called section renderer. Very simple uh, switch statement, which will basically go through, check the response, and see which components that you're returning. And if they exist, go ahead and place them on the screen. So it allows you to create that layout uh, dynamically based on how content editors add that uh, data on the front end. And here's some example here. Um, there's a website which has a couple of different components on the main page. Here we have a featured uh, uh, component. And when they go on the front end, they could go ahead and let's say reorder the features, and that will reflect on the front end automatically, which is kind of cool. And that applies to all the other components and dynamics zones on the page. And I think this 
combining this ability, giving the content editors ability to lay the content in the way they want, and for you as a developer, not really caring how they do it, as long as you have those same components to handle that logic on the front end. And so I know there's a lot of seasoned developers here, and I did not just want to talk to people that already know what they're doing. If you are a senior developer, you could make the decision, should we use a CMS for our project? But I wanted to give this talk to also inspire new developers to fall in love uh, with Remix as they continue on their learning journey. And I wanted to kind of figure out how can I share my love of Remix and of course Strapi together. So I started working on this open source project uh, with Remix and Strapi. And what I want to do is obviously showcase how you can use Strapi with Remix, but more importantly, I want to introduce new developers to building cool things with Remix even faster. So if they're not quite comfortable with backend development, that I mean Remix allows you to build a full, full stack application. If they're just starting out between just knowing what the loader function does, what the action function does, and having a CMS to power your backend, they could pretty much, I'm going to go here, say, build 80% of the website. So I'm just going to say it. And so to me, that's important because just like, um, yeah, let me say what the power of Remix first, because uh, this is important. And it's you. It's all the people that are here in the room who are sharing on your team with other developers why you think Remix is awesome. You're encouraging other people to use it in their projects. And it's literally the community. And I wanted to kind of say that. It does, it literally what's going to keep it moving forward. And so the closing thought that I want to say, yeah, sure, using Remix with Strapi will allow you to develop projects faster, with less development time, probably will cost less, and you could iterate faster because you're not spending so much time on development. But more importantly, it, in my view, it provides a very easy way for new developers to build cool things with Remix even faster because they don't have to worry about trying to get into the back end right away. They could just go ahead and use Strapi. And just like I did on my second job, was able to raise my hand and say, hey, I know Strapi. I think you'll be a good fit here some of these new developers will raise their hand and be, hey, I think Remix would be good for this project here. And with that, thank you so much. I appreciate your time.